Today's outfit. We're beat. I mean, we've only been at this like <laughs> an hour and a half and we're exhausted. Man, guys, every time I put on that Tyvek suit, going through my head is like, I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> every time, and I'm always like in my head, like really getting down in my head. I'm Carly and this is Brady. In early 2020, <laughs> we sold our house and most of our possessions and took our first big leap into living our vagabond dreams. We recently hiked 800 miles of the Appalachian Trail, and now we are purchasing a sailboat to start sailing around the world, all while capturing a creative journal of the journey. We hope to inspire you to live your own dreams. Subscribe and thanks for watching. Is that where that goes? Squirting it right into the camera? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> um, so I am shaking up some Starbright Premium Cleaner Wax. Uh, I've not used it, not used anything, so this is a first go round for all of it. Not sponsored, just the clear. Um, our friends over cars, uh, Gone with the Winds, they suggest this, they, this is what they use, they live by it. We're gonna go with their word because we don't know. So, I washed the boat earlier today, gave it a little scrub down. Now I am shaking this up to wax it, which it, she needs it so bad, it's so sad. Um, she's just like disintegrating, it feels like. Um, so yeah, gonna do some, some buffing today. See how that goes. Let's just go for it. Let's go slow. Just drizzle it. Hey friends, I am in the middle of replacing our cutlass bearing right now and I had a horrible time getting the prop off the prop shaft. Ended up having to hire a local guy who specializes in props and um, cutlass bearings and things like that. Um, he came over and helped me remove the prop with a prop puller and a butane torch and a good sized hammer and got it removed. The next step was to get the cutlass bearing out, which the set screws that hold the cutlass bearing were stripped. So I ended up using a star bit uh, and a little screwdriver and jamming it in there um, and forcing the set screws out. So we're gonna have to replace those. Uh, the next step is to replace the cutlass bearing, which was supposedly replaced like two or three years ago. They're supposed to last like 10 to 14 years. Um, according to online and uh, the local guy here. Uh, but let me show you what is happening to the cutlass bearing now. This is all worn away. All right, so I am still trying to remove this cutlass bearing, which I've been told I need to put a pipe wrench on it and twist it, which is not exactly working for me because it is disintegrating. I managed to get it started. Cutlass bearing is out. But yeah, this cutlass bearing, I oh mean, he was shot. Anyway, I got a new one. Right here. I'm gonna research how to, uh, how to properly put that in, whether you use grease or, or what, I don't actually know. 
research how to properly put it in and also we got to get new set screws because the ones were stripped so yeah another trip to home depot hey what's up everybody we are back on the boat and the last time we were here we forgot our cameras so we were able to accomplish some stuff but didn't get it filmed uh, mainly what we got done was installing our flexible solar panels so i'm going to give you guys a quick overview of that and what we did to install them um, and then i'm going to show you what i'm working on today so our first flexible solar panel is on our deck about midship just by the mast here and it is installed with 3m extreme outdoor double-sided sticky tape it's kind of like a foam tape so it does have some give to it um, but it also keeps the solar panel slightly elevated off the surface not by much and i don't know if it's enough to dissipate the heat correctly um, but yeah uh, i do think it is going to be a great solution for us um, and we should be able to walk on it without too many issues. Um, we'll try to avoid walking on it uh, as much as possible, but um, we may have to walk on it at some point in time. Our other two flexible panels we have installed on our Bimini. Um, and they are installed with a extreme outdoor heavy duty Velcro. That way we can remove them um, in heavy weather. If we ever have to take down our Bimini due to heavy weather, uh, we can actually remove them. Carly's also going to work on building us some, she's, she's gonna work on another solution to um, put some like edging on here with fabric and do some like grommets or something uh, like the twist lock, um, just to give it some more stability um and make sure that there's no way that these kings can come off the bimini even if the velcro fails but i have not run the electrical cords for them so um i'm just gonna run them down uh down our back stays here um this electrical cable i am not sure how i'm going to run it yet we do have this vent here um, and it might look kind of ghetto, but we may, instead of putting ho more holes in the boat, we may just run the wire down through the vent. The other option is this plexiglass material. Um, I did buy some waterproof housing, housings to be able to run wires. So I might put a waterproof housing here or on the front of that block there just to get the wire inside. And then I'm going to chase the wire back aft towards our battery bank where our solar charger chargers are going to be. Today's project uh, is actually going to be our, well, one is the radar tower. We, uh, I, say, I say radar tower, a radar pole. Um, we bought a new solar arch, um, but where we need to mount the solar arch, the radar tower, a radar pole is currently in the way of that. So I need to move that. Uh, my original plan was to move it uh, to the port side, uh, away from, um, away from the middle of the ship out towards the edge uh, but I realized that I'm not gonna be able to do that uh, because I would have to remove the cabling to work it around our aft um, stern pulpit I uh, don't want to do that so I'm thinking at this point I'm going to actually just move the radar pole more inward um, I'm gonna test to see if that's even possible with our Bimini um, and if it is, then that will solve my problem. So I'm going to check that out now. But I'll go ahead and show you uh, what I've done so far. I have disconnected it from its two main supporting bracket points. And the radar pole is just laying here on our port side. Um, and what I'm wanting to do is I want to mount our... Um, radar arch I want to put my footing basically right here um, it's easy to get to from inside the boat to be able to put a backing plate on it um, and that should give me uh, plenty of space to put a backing plate for plenty of rigidity um, it also keeps it far enough away from the edge that I'm not getting into the wood um, so anyway that's where I want to put it but that means my radar arch 
I mean, solar arch is coming in right here to right here, which, so this pole needs to move. I was originally thinking to move it to be somewhere over here, but all these wires, I will have to get around this outside of this. Um, and so what I'm thinking about is just actually taking this whole bracket and moving it like here and having my radar arch come up here. But I've got my stern pulpit and I've got my bimini here that I may be running into. So these are all things I need to uh, determine if it's even gonna work. I've removed the existing footing for our radar pole. And I was thinking about placing it here um, and then having the solar arch footing here. But that means the radar is radar pole is gonna be inside inside the solar arch and when our panels come in this way they're actually going to interfere with the radar pole so the radar pole has to sit on the outside of the solar arch in order to work the other option is mounting the radar to the solar arch but again that's going to require some finagling of wires as well as some custom fabrication for mounting it to uh, the radar, the, the solar arch. It's possible. Um, we, do have, we do have some clamps and miscellaneous things to uh, be able to attach the radar pole. Um, just a matter of whether or not uh, it would be doable. So. I don't know, got a lot to think about. So what I've decided to do is I am gonna mount our radar pole on the outside. Probably something like that. Maybe need to, maybe need to turn it a bit. Not sure. But I still gotta get these wires to the outside of our bow, bow uh, stern pulpit. Stern pulpit. Words are hard. So what I think I'm going to do is because the the end adapters for the radar, which are down here, these end adapters uh, are not going to fit through the hole that's currently cut in the pipe down there. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a string to these so that I can fish them back out. And I'm going to pull them somewhat through to give myself some slack down here. Take the screws out of here. Pull up on this guy just enough to slide the wires under. And then set it back down. Squirt some epoxy, uh, some uh, 5200 down in there. Re-put my screws in. And it looks like this guy's all bowed. That's interesting. Don't know if you can see this because of focusing, but this is all bowed up right here. I think that's my plan, is uh, get those wires to the outside of here. Um, I can get the radar pole past my two uh, lifelines here, and then I can actually have the radar pole on the outside of the pulpit. Anyway, hopefully, hopefully this is the right move. We are not professionals. A lot of what we do is uh, based on guessing and trial and error. So I like to talk to people who have done it before. There's not a lot of people around who have our current situation, which is a radar pole plus tower in a box. What it looks like a lot of people have done is with the tower in the box, they replace uh, their radar pole for um, the tower in a box and just put their radar mounted directly on the tower in a box, which I'm still debating. And I won't know until I have it all mounted up there. Carly wants to keep the pole, which I think is smart because we may end up wanting to put like a wind generator on it or something like that if we do decide to move the radar um, system. So, but like we've talked about putting the radar system on the mast, um, several different things we've talked about doing 
but um, at least for now, uh, this is our this is our plan for now. Plans may change, but anyway, I'm gonna get started on it. I have uh, secured my wires with a shoestring so that I can retrieve them later. And now, I'm going to pull some slack through on this end. Alright, I need both hands to do this. I've got enough slack here that I think I can get it around the pole here. So I'm going to work on taking that guy off. So these are bolts, not screws, which means somebody would have to be on the inside with a wrench or something. And that's very defeated now because I had this all planned out. Ugh. Oh well. So we had success getting that stern pulpit leg up and getting the wires around to the outside. Um, I did strip out the bolts that were right there because they were Phillips head bolts. I'll show it to you. Ugh. Ow, hit my head. Let's try to get that to focus. They were Phillips head bolts and like this one was bent. Um, and so I'm going to replace these with, uh, like hex head bolts so that we can put like a wrench on them. Makes it a lot easier. Yeah. We'll show why I think it's bent from them trying to get it in there. Uh, yeah, I think so. Because, ooh. Oh, let's see, for the bolt to fit into this hole, at least on this side, like it, it interferes. Don't know if you can see that very well, but it interferes right here. And so this doesn't go in straight. Um, so it's kind of annoying, but yeah, got them all out and we're gonna see about mounting our radar pole over here somewhere now that we have that out but I think we're gonna probably try to mount the solar arch before we mount the radar pole again from what Carly and I just talked about to make sure that we're not gonna have any interferences not make unnecessary holes in the boat yeah if we have to change plans again so no oh, I finally focused on you hey <laughs> Catch me if you can, and I'm wondering so you if need I should taste behind the stop one Okay. Yep. And try to take a okay. stand. Oh, and they keep asking where the hell I'm going. Do I be for the rest of my life? Okay. Where are you going? Um, this way? You probably need to be on this side. No, I'm just trying to take okay. my time. Okay. So that we can set it over here. Okay.
All right. Got the extra solar panel off the boat. Now it's time to post it for sale.